Today's lesson is over learning target two, which states that I can set up and solve an inequality given a context. So here you're gonna be given a sentence, um, and then we'll need to write the inequality from that sentence and then solve and graph it on a number line. So for number one, we want to recognize what different words mean and change them into either numbers or operations or inequality signs. So half would be one half, of represents a multiplication, so time sign would go there. Anytime you see the words a number, just like we would um, solving wise, it would be a variable, so we'll just use x. Now here, this is where the part that we did at the beginning of learning target one will help us out. So is at least is like saying greater than or equal to, so that's why I have a greater than or equal to sign, and then 14 is obviously 14. So then I write my inequality, and it's nice because it's in that order. So 1 half x greater than or equal to 14, and then I want to solve. So I'll multiply both sides by 2, which gives me x is greater than or equal to 28. And then from there, it's pretty simple. So graph your 0 and your 28. 28 is on the right side of 0, and because we're greater than or equal to, we draw our line closed circle to the right. Uh, for number 2, um, it says 1 fifth, so that's a fraction of 1 fifth. Of is still multiplication. A number we'll use um, is x. Here is at most would be less than or equal to, and then 30. So our inequality would be written as 1 half x less than or equal to 30. So here, like we did for number 1, I'll need to multiply both sides by 5 in this case. And that leaves me with x on the left, and that gets me 150 on the right. Um, here, 150 is on the right of 0, so I'll graph it that way. Um, close circle at 150, and then because it's less than or equal to, everything to the left is true. Moving on to number 3. Uh, here, 4 times a number is no more than 100. So 4 would be 4, times would be multiplication. A number would be x. Um, 4 is no more than. That's one of our words for less than or equal to. So we'll have a less than or equal to sign there, and then 108 is obviously 108, okay? So then my equation will be 4x less than or equal to 108. And then from there, I'll need to divide both sides by 4, which gets me x is less than or equal to 27. So then on our number line, 0 is the left of 27, I'll have a closed circle at 27, and then everything to the left will be true. Um, for number 4, we have negative 3 times a number plus 4 is no more than the number minus 8. That's a lot there, but break it down piece by piece. So negative 3 is negative 3. Then we have times, which is multiplication, and then a number, which is x. Um, here it says plus, so we'll have a plus sign there, and then plus 4 is no more than again, so we also have another less than or equal to sign here. And then the number. Now here, when they say the number, they're still talking about the same variable you've already used. So this is x in this case. So just remember it's the same, same variable. If they said another number, that's when you would pick a different variable, but here it's just referring back to the same one. So then I have x minus 8 at the end. So negative 3x plus 4 less than or equal to x minus 8 will be our inequality for this one. And then from there, I'll need to solve. So I subtract 4 to both sides. Gets me negative 3x less than or equal to x minus 12. And then I'll subtract x to both sides to put those like terms together. That gets me negative 4x less than or equal to negative 12. And here I'll divide both sides by negative 4, which will allow me to switch the inequality sign around. So then I'll get x is greater than or equal to 3. And so then on my number line, I'll graph 0 and 3. 3 is on the right to 0. And then I'll have a closed circle, and then everything to the right will be true. And then finally for number 5, here we have more of a word problem. So it says the area of a triangular garden can be no more than 120 square feet. The 
base of the triangle is 16 feet, what is the height of the triangle? Hint, the area of a triangle is area equals one half base times height. So area is your A, and that's what that's representing. Um, now in the first part, it says no more than, so that would be our less than or equal to sign. And then no more than 120 square feet, so we would add that in there. So the area should be no more than 120 square feet. Um, then from there, I also see that they tell me what the base of the triangle is, which is 16 feet. So I can actually say B is equal to 16. But I also don't know what the height is. So this is what I'm looking for. That's my variable. Okay. So taking that hint, the area of a triangle, um, and then also completing this inequality that they've given me, they've said area is no more than 120 square feet. So I can say A is less than or equal to 120. Now because I know A is also equal to 1 half B times A, H, sorry, um, I can actually insert that in into that inequality. So then instead of having an A there, I can write 1 half BH less than or equal to 120. And then from there, I know that B is actually 16, so I can insert that in as well. So then now I can kind of simplify and solve for H. So 1 half of 16 is 8. And then I'll need to divide both sides by 8 to get h by itself, which leaves me with less than or equal to 15. So what this means is, in words, is that the height for this triangular garden is going to be 15 feet or less. Okay, show's over.